I felt like my um, masking queen shirt was appropriate, considering that's what we'll be doing today because we are barefaced. It is the first of the month, which means it's time to talk about beauty heroes. And we are seeing a repeat brand, a brand that we saw for the first time. There's a hair on my camera. For the first time last year, I did a demo for them for a product that I ended up really loving that I still use. Um, that's become one of my favorites. We'll get into that. <laughs> but yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be demoing and talking about the Beauty Heroes April box and I suppose that's it. I don't know. I feel like there should be more to say, but there is not. <laughs> so the brand that we're gonna be talking about today is Mukti, which is an Australian skincare. Um, they also do have some hair care. I do believe I've never tried it, but I'm, I know they have some hair care. I, can't, I don't know if they have body. I know they had a perfume. I was looking at their website a few minutes ago. They have a perfume on there. But um, they are a Australian brand. They use Australian native ingredients. And um, last year in the Beauty Heroes box, we did see the two-in-one. Oh, was it last year? Or was it the year before? It might've been the year before. Actually, I can't remember. The two-in-one resurfacing exfoliants. No, it was last year. And then the Hyaluronic Marine Serum. The two-in-one resurfacing exfoliant has become one of my favorite products. I used this this morning in preparation for this video to um, exfoliate and just sort of like pre-exfoliate my skin, I guess, since we, before we do the mask. And then their Hyaluronic Marine Serum is a nice serum, but um, I do prefer other Hyaluronic serums, so that one has become like a real favorite. But the resurfacing exfoliant is beautiful if you love physical exfoliants because it does have some, I wouldn't say they're aggressive, but they're pretty scrubby bits. And even though you don't need to use a lot of pressure, you just sort of like very lightly rub it into your skin. If you are someone who has very, very sensitive skin, it may irritate you, but if you can, you know, deal with a lot of physical exfoliant, you probably would love that. It smells amazing, it's got lime. I just, I love that that one was included in a Beauty Heroes box. It's, it's phenomenal. Um, Mukti has a ton of products. They've got lots of serums and cleansers and moisturizers. They just have a ton of stuff. So there's a lot to try. There's a lot for different skin types. What I do also love about Mukti is that they offer um, a lot of trial sizes. So you can try things in small sizes before you invest in the full sizes. And that's what I did last year. So after we saw Mukti in the box, I was really interested in a lot of their products. Um, I picked up some of their sort of smaller sizes so I could try some of their stuff. So I did end up picking up the Deep Cleanse Antioxidant Mask. Um, this is the 30 gram size. And then I also picked up their mini blemish kit. So, you know, they've got lots of different products in small trial sizes. I love that and they're affordable. I don't remember how much this was, but it was, it was pretty affordable. So then Beauty Heroes um, sent out an email to the ambassadors letting them know what the April box was gonna be. And I was you know, pleasantly surprised to see that we're gonna be seeing a mask. We, I, I would love, I hope Beauty Heroes is watching. I feel like sometimes they don't watch my videos. <laughs> um, but I, I hope that if they're watching, I would love to see more masks. I feel like we don't get enough masks in the Beauty Heroes boxes. We saw a mask last year. We saw one mask last year, and this is the mask. I'm assuming we're only gonna see one mask this year because that seems to be sort of the trend. I feel like of all of the products that are on the market and that Beauty Heroes puts in their boxes, masks are something that we should actually see more of because we use them up faster than we use up some other products so like we may see a couple of cleansers a couple of serums in the boxes you know we, we usually see um we usually see a like roughly two eye treatments a year which does seem excessive uh because like for me it takes me a long time to go through eye serum so i would love to see more masks can we see more masks in the boxes please <laughs> that's my plea i mean you guys know how much i love masks so i'm always looking for more masks <clears throat> and i just feel like sorry my throat is like very froggy today for some reason. Um, I would love to see more masks in the Beauty Heroes boxes because there's a lot of really amazing masks out there and um, you know we could do with seeing them more than once a year. So anyway, that's what we're seeing this year. We're seeing the Deep Cleanse Antioxidant Mask in the full size. So I did pick up the small size, which is what I'm gonna be demoing today since it's open, but I wanted to show you the size comparison. So the, the mini size they have out there, if you wanna try it before you buy it, is 30 grams. And then the big one is 100 grams. So you get a lot of product in there. So I'm gonna put the big one away because we do no longer need it, but I'm just showing you, you guys get the full size. And then we're also getting the Age Defiance Eye Serum which I'm pretty sure this one is a full size as well. This one is half an ounce. And 
My camera is gonna be difficult and not focus. So yeah, there's that. So we're gonna talk about those two things today. So, um, like I said, I prepped my skin with the exfoliant in preparation for this video. And then we're just gonna put our hair back a little bit. Um, we're gonna get a good before shot of my skin. So you guys can see what's going on with it. It's been doing pretty well, except I recently started breaking out, um, which I think it's mostly sugar related. But still, even with the breakouts, it's not looking terrible. It's still, it's pretty even. There's not a ton of redness. All right, so let's talk about the mask. So the full size is 100 grams, like I said, and it's $80. So I think I paid like 30 something for the small size. So the way we experience springtime is the same way we experience Mukti's Deep Cleanse Antioxidant Mask, April's hero product and perhaps the most perfect treatment for the change of seasons. As spring blooms, our skin also feels, or seeks, also seeks a fresh start. This winter green whipped mask delicately detoxifies with an enzyme exfoliating complex and bioactive cellular extracts native to Australia, including kakadu plum, um, banksia, banksia, and silky oil grass. But unlike many clay-based treatments, this mask doesn't dry up to draw out impurities, leaving skin purified but parched. Uh, that's like how regular tra traditional clay masks work. Um, but a lot of companies will tell you, don't let it dry. I think that's become like a new thing because I don't remember that being like the case when um, I first got into green beauty or like powder masks or anything. Um, I never remember anybody saying like, don't let it dry. But now the recommendation is to not let it dry fully on your skin. It's to like keep it misted. So the active stay active and it doesn't, you know, completely dry out your skin. This one doesn't dry um, like a traditional clay mask does. So quite the contrary, this emollient mask stays wet like a pudding on the skin, imparting essential antioxidants, phytonutrients, essential fatty acids, and minerals, thanks to pawpaw, coconut, macadamia nut, and jojoba. Matcha and chlorophyll are responsible for the mask's soft green color, and the small spherical jojoba esters are responsible for your softest skin. So here is what, try to get it the shadow to not, <laughs> My lighting always makes things a little bit difficult. So that's what it looks like. You can sort of see, I think you can see the little jojoba ester beads in there. So it has got, aloe vera is the number one ingredient. So it keeps it nice and like juicy, I guess. <laughs> so there's kale and clay, there's papaya, coconut, macadamia, jojoba, shea. Um, it does have cocoa butter, but I don't have an issue with this. So uh, the only thing that I am sensitive to is cacao or cocoa butter. I break out. You know, I'll, I break out really quickly when I use cacao and cocoa butter. For some reason, that just like, I don't know if it clogs my pores or whatever, but it, my skin just doesn't react well to it. So I did try the Mukti. Um, they have like a marigold cream, which does have cacao butter, which this is how I found this out, is I tried that and my face immediately broke out in like cystic acne. Um, if I'm not using it in like a leave-on product, so like in a mask or in like a mask because you wash it off or like in a cleanser or something something that gets washed off and it doesn't stay on my skin i don't have an issue um so like the breakouts from this mask that i've been using for the last couple of weeks it's not related to the mask it's related to you know my diet my diet has not been the best um admittedly but still it's not it's still not terrible but um we just talked about this. Uh, but yeah, so I, that's the only thing that I'm sensitive to. Coconut oil, I can do fine. It never breaks me out. Shea never breaks me out. Cacao or cocoa butter um, always break me out. Um, so if you have acne prone skin, maybe see how you do with cacao or cocoa if you've never, um, never thought about it or maybe you break out and you can't figure out why, that might be a factor. But in this, because it's not a leave-on product, you only leave it on for like 15, 20 minutes, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't factor into it breaking my skin out. Um, but it does have that in there. So that also has kakadu plum, um, banks, banksia extract. It has the silky oil grass, glycerin, um, olive squalane, alfalfa. It's got pomegranate, cam uh, chamomile. Tamanu, sea buckthorn, rosemary, chia, matcha, carrot seed oil, Roman chamomile. So lots of good stuff. And I've really been enjoying it. So I use this about one or two times a week and I've been using it pretty consistently for the last couple of weeks because I had it on hand. I knew I was going to be reviewing it for this. 
So apply a generous layer to clean dry skin, um, leave on for 10 to 15 minutes, and then gently massage to import moisture, impart moisture, man, I can read today, melting the spheres into the skin. So you don't wanna, you don't want the spheres to like burst while you're putting it on, you wanna wait, you know, after you've done this for 10 or 15 minutes and then you sort of like massage them in. Rinse off with warm water. So let's just start to do that. So it says it's, it purifies, detoxes, and cleanses. And then with the, you know, the papaya and some of the other enzymes and stuff, it's supposed to gently exfoliate. And then I wonder if brightening, we can go look at the website in a minute um, while it's sitting. Cause it's got the cockadoo plum in it, which is, um, you see that a lot in like brightening serums. So, we got a good before shot of my skin, right? <laughs> in case it does brighten it, you can see. I was trying not to get this in my hair, but I'm not doing a good job. I'm getting all these little like jojoba, jojoba esters in like my scalp. So I'm not washing my hair today. At least that wasn't the plan. So there's that. And then we're gonna let that sit for 10 to 15-ish minutes and then we'll come in and you can see I've left all the little beads. So in about 10 or 15 minutes, once we've let this sit, we will come back and like massage those in. Um, and it'll impart some extra moisture into, you know, the skin. So like we said, so it's a skin type all purify, detoxes, and cleanses, a deeply purifying clay mask that detoxifies the skin while imparting essential antioxidants, phytonutrients, and minerals combined with an enzyme exfoliating complex and bioactive native cellular extracts to enhance moisture absorption and encourage a fresh, bright complexion. So we should see bright, fresh, moisturized skin. Um, so like I said, I've been using this for a few weeks. I haven't noticed I guess really like dramatic results from it. I think it makes a good like maintain maintenance, like a maintaining, like a maintenance mask. <laughs> um, because I, it's not one of those ones that at least I immediately notice like a brightening from, but my skin's also been looking pretty good lately that it hasn't been super dull. It's been, you know, I've been keeping up with my routines. It's been really healthy. And um, aside from like my sugar, <laughs> my sugar problem, um, it's, it's been, you know, it's been handling really well. So I haven't noticed a ton of results, I think, just because I don't have like a ton going on, but we'll see if it, it, you know, when I take it off, if there's any sort of like brightening effect happening from it. And it doesn't dry down like a traditional clay mask, but you can see it does, it does still dry. All right, so I will let this sit for a few 10, 15, 20 minutes possibly, and then we'll come back, I will take it off, we'll examine my skin, and then I will talk to you guys about the eye serum, which I have actually been really, really enjoying. Um, so yeah, spoiler, I guess. <laughs> but I'll see you in a few minutes. Okie doke, it's been, I don't know, half an hour. It's been a while, so now we're going to massage in these sort of like moisture beads. I might, I might have left it a little bit too long because now it's just like flaking off. It's not supposed to do that. <laughs> all right, well, either way, um, don't let it dry all the way um, so you can sort of like massage in those like moisture beads without it um, completely just like t coming off your face. So it's not like there, there wasn't that too many. So I'm just gonna take, take it off and we'll see, you know, what the skin looks like. Again, I don't think it's one of those, for me at least, it's not one of those masks that I notice. Just like immediate, immediate results. My skin doesn't look like a million times better, but it feels really nice. I do notice like a, a light exfoliation, but I do usually exfoliate before I, um, before I do the mask. So that also helps with that. So that's my skin. 
freshly cleansed. Just a little red just because I'm sort of like rubbing at it, making sure I get everything. All right, so here's my skin. I don't really think it looks any brighter, um, but it is smooth. I don't really find it to be one that um, helps with sort of like repairing acne or anything like that. It's definitely not one that I usually turn to when I'm having like an acne breakout, but when my skin is like kind of dull, you know, kind of needs a light exfoliation, it does work really well for that. But if you're having like massive breakouts, you're not gonna notice any, any kind of real difference. You can still see all my acne here. Okay, so I've done some of my other skincare um, in preparation for the eye cream, the eye serum part of this video. Um, I do do like my hydrating serum and my oil step before I do my eye cream and then I do like my moisturizing step. So actually stay tuned next week for my current skincare routine, the routine that I've been loving lately that's really been helping my skin um, look and feel really great um, aside from <laughs> You know, the acne stuff, hopefully by the time I film that video, it's because I'm waiting for the release of the Clean Beauty Box, uh, you know, the reveal of that. So I'll, I'll post that video on the day that the Clean Beauty Box, you know, reveal is. Um, so that way I can tell you guys about, you know, my full skincare routine, because it's gonna include um, products from Beauty Heroes, Box Walla, and Clean Beauty Box. So stay tuned for that. I will go over everything that I've been using, my current favorite skincare, my current skincare routine, all of that, and hopefully um, by next week, <laughs> you know, I'll have gotten this, this, you know, the little bit of acne that I have under control. I mean, it's not terrible. I can't complain too much because it's been worse. But yeah, stay tuned for that. So now we're gonna do the eye serum. So this is the Age Defiance, <laughs> Age Defiance, I can speak, eye serum. So it's the full size is a 15 mil, and it's $100, so pretty expensive. This is probably, is this the most expensive eye serum that I've ever used? I think it might be. Um, I, the, I also really love the Kahina Giving Beauty Eye Serum, but I think that one's like 78 and it's around the same size. It might be a little bit bigger, actually. So if your skin is begging for a spring clean, then your eyes may have their sights set on brighter days ahead. This month's Sidekick delivers on its promise to defy the visible signs of aging, including dark circles and droopy skin. Created with a quad of potent clinically tested peptides, um, they're paired with native Australian extracts of emu apple and quandong to diminish darkness and reduce puffiness that can settle under the eye, which... I suffer with all the time. <laughs> a base of certified organic aloe vera and shea butter gives this lightweight treatment its creamy gel texture, which uh, while deeply moisturizing plant oils, cooling cucumber and calming chamomile blur fine lines for a soft focus effect. So I haven't really loved an eye serum. Um, like really, really loved one. I've been using the Athara Pure um, coffee caffeine eye cream um, for the last couple of months, and I have really enjoyed that, but I haven't really like loved, you know, like fell in love with a eye serum um, or an eye product because I'm not consistent with them, right? Unless I really love the product. So I have to love the texture. I have to love the way it makes my under eyes feel. Um, I have to see some results. So really the only eye creams that I've ever been like super consistent with are the Kahina Giving Beauty Eye Serum, which I love. That one is fantastic. Um, the Athara Pure Eye Cream, which I used for a couple of months, you know, with, without using anything else because I really love the texture on that one. And it's an affordable one. So if you're looking for something affordable. Um, and I really, really love this one. I've been using this for the last couple of weeks. I really like the texture of it. I really like the way it sinks into my skin. I really like the way it makes my under eyes feel. Um, I haven't necessarily noticed maybe like a difference in my under eyes, but it takes a long time usually for me to see sort of like a difference in my under eyes. So I'm gonna show you. So, okay, so what I usually do with this if like I'm not doing like a treatment, I'm gonna show you like a fun little treatment that I do with this um, using the Detox Market Glow Wand um, uh, of what I like to do. So usually on like a regular day, I'll take like a little pump of this. So usually about this much. So just like, like a quarter of a pump, I you know split it between my two fingers and then I dab it underneath my eyes. But when I wanna do like a little bit of a treatment with it where I sort of want to, um, like I want to make sure that there's enough slip for the, the wand, I do about a full pump. 
So I'll do a bit more. So now I'm just gonna take that in between my eyes and then I'm just going to tap it on but not in because I'm gonna let the wand do that. So I'm leaving it, you know, sort of like this. And then we're gonna go in with the wand. So I really love this wand because it really does help with sort of like depuffing because it's got this rose quartz, you know, like head on it, which I love to use and it vibrates. So we're just gonna do this for a bit. So when I have some time in the morning or in the evening, I just like to take like a really large amount of that eye cream so that way I can use the tool to um, vibrate it in, I guess. Or <laughs> uh, and I find that it does really help with puffiness. Now I do do this for quite some time, so I'll probably speed this up. I do it for about five minutes each eye. And like the vibration is really nice. This is a cool wand too, um, because it's got like multiple heads for it, for like different parts of your face. So like there's one for like the jawline and the cheeks. There's one for your forehead, one for like in between your eyes, um, between eyebrows and nape, cheeks, eyebrows, jaw, forehead, neck. And then this one is for under eyes and everywhere. So you can really do it everywhere, but I like to do it underneath my eyes because I feel like that's where I find the most, uh, the most benefits. So I'm gonna do this eye for a couple of more minutes and then we'll sort of like see the difference between the two eyes. You can obviously do this with like a, a, a rose quartz roller. You don't need this like fancy tool, but I, I really like it. Um, you can use a, a rose quartz roller, one of those eye rollers, or you could use your rose quartz gua sha stone. All right, so one eye to the other. I definitely feel like it helped, you know, with the puffiness. And like, I feel like this bag is like much deeper. Plus it just really helps absorb, you know, the eye serum. Just really helps with absorption. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. Um, so this one, I don't know if it said it. Oh no, it does. And so the aim of this is to target fine lines, crow's feet, puffiness, and dark circles. So. I don't think, again, I've been using it long enough to notice like if it's working as well as, um, you know, like the Kahina Giving Beauty Eye Serum, which I love because that one I found really helped with like, you know, fine lines and puffiness. I have high hopes for this one. I really like the texture of it. I really like, you know, the way it makes my skin feel. So I do have high hopes that the longer that I use this, the more results I'm gonna see. So I'm gonna keep using this probably until it's out. Um, and this is one of the more expensive ones or the most expensive one that I've used because I've used, I mean, I'll do a whole eye, you know, treatment video at some point down the line. <laughs> um, but I've used like the Kina Giving Beauty one, you know, there's an eye oil from Blue Alchemy, uh, Lil Fox, Earthwise Beauty, uh, Malaya, um, I'm trying to think where else. One Love Organics, Audacite. I mean, there's so many eye oils. I, I really do prefer creams and serums. So like a product like this, this really is right up my alley. Cause I just, oils are nice sometimes. Oh, Natural Logic has one. I just, I find I don't reach for the oils as much as I reach for like creams and serums, but there are some eye oil uh, formulas that I do really love. So we'll definitely go over all of those once I do my, um, my eye treatment video. All right, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm just gonna do this for a while. All 
All right, so that is that. Um, I'm gonna let this sit on my skin. Well, I'm gonna put moisturizer on. And then I'll let it sit on my skin before I try to put any makeup on top of it because I did use quite a lot of that eye serum. Um, usually I would do that at night, but um, I kind of felt like my eyes needed... <laughs> they needed a little something this morning because I'm tired. I'm always tired though, but what else is new? So that is everything that I've got for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and I hope that it was helpful um, to see these products in action, hear my thoughts on them. I do really like this box. I think this is a great box. Mukti has a ton of products. I'm definitely interested in trying more from Mukti, um, but from what I've tried of Mukti, I mean, it's been almost, I guess I would say sort of like 50-50 because the Hyaluronic Marine Serum is nice, but it's not my favorite Hyaluronic Serum I've ever used. Um, the Marigold Cream that I tried broke me out, so that is a no. Um, but I do really love the products in this box. I love the mask and I love the eye serum and then I also love the resurfacing exfoliant. This I haven't used a ton, but I have um, sort of played around with it a little bit. And the texture of the moisturizer, which is not what I've been using, so I'm not going to use this today. This is actually a really nice texture. It's got this like almost serum-like texture because it's in like an aloe based, aloe, aloe vera based. So that's, that's really sort of like a really nice one. Um, and then they have the, the gel cleanser. That's what I have here, the balancing gel cleanser. And then the um, Orange Blossom Balancing Mist, which I can actually use right now. That one smells really, really lovely. But yep, that's gonna do it for this video. I'll leave all the links below to subscribe or check out, check out other Mukti products from the Beauty Hero store if you are interested in them. Um, but yeah, that's all that I got for this video. Let me know your thoughts. If you're excited about this box, if you've tried these products before, what you think what your thoughts on Mukti are in general, what you thought about the resurfacing exfoliant from last year. Did you love it as much as I did? <laughs> or do, I guess, because I'm still using it. But yep, thank you guys for being here and hanging out with me for a little while. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.